It's fair to say these are the dog days of summer, but the fish are still biting. In today's Outdoor Report, Wake Up Central's Scott Covert visits with Game and Fish on beating the heat so that you can try and reel in a big one. Hey, welcome back outside to the Weather Garden for another edition of the Outdoor Report. We're in the dog days of summer. It's blistering hot. Trey, sometimes I think the last place I want to be is outdoors, but Arkansas has some pretty unique waterways that can help you beat the heat creatively. I, I, th I think you're exactly right. I, I usually limit my fishing to before 10 a.m. Yep. or after about 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, but it's still warm, yeah. But we, we are fortunate to have our, our cold water releases from the big upland reservoirs, uh, our trout streams yep. essentially. Uh, and then, you know, naturally speaking, we've, we've got our Ozark and Washita mountain streams where you sure. can go smallmouth. Now, those still get pretty warm, but the great thing, I mean, when you're when you're up to here oh, in the water, we're doing wrong. some wade fishing, it's yeah. a lot better. You can take a break from fishing and take a swim, but yeah, our trout streams are really, really great places. Uh, you know, the, the White River, the Bull Shoals Tailwater, the Norfolk, the Little Red River, the Beaver Tailwater below Beaver Dam, uh, those are kind of the main ones. But what's great about those, so what allows us to have trout in Arkansas is the cold water releases for hydroelectric generation or, right. or just releases from the dam for other reasons. But, you know, that water, even now, it's going to be in the 50s uh, coming out of the dam. So not only, you know, if you want to do some wet wading, you'll actually get a little cold in the yeah. toes and ankles, you know. But, uh, but it is that time of year when you, when you can do some wet wading in our trout streams. And also, the air temperature around there, it's going to be a few degrees cooler sure. if you're out on a boat or standing on the bank or in the water. A great way to beat the summertime heat and if you've got a young person I'll tell you a really great place to go under the age of 16 or anybody that's mobility impaired can fish a place called Dry Run Creek it's okay. right at the Norfolk National Fish Hatchery okay. uh, enters the Norfolk River the Norfolk tailwater there right below the dam it's a very short stretch but it's cold water of course you got giant trout really really big trout and there's canopy everywhere, so it's really always cool. a few degrees cooler than it is out in the sunshine. I tell you, one of the strangest phenomena that I've seen is being out right below one of those dams, middle of July, blistering hot. It's not only cool, but there's fog everywhere. The bank it's of the fog. It's the most <laughs> surreal thing ever, and it happens uh, all the time. It is. And I, we're so lucky to have those trout streams, but great way to beat the heat. Great way indeed. Okay, let's talk about if you're going to be out and about, uh, whether you're on uh, one of those cool water streams or maybe the Arkansas River, Lake Maumel, uh other lakes around the area, how to be safe. Yeah, you know, like I said, Scott, one of the things that I like to do is go early. I mean, you know, it's, it's light. At, 545 yep, you know sure so is. you can get out there and that's usually when the best bite is anyway or in the evening a lot of people go to night fishing there's a lot of night bass tournaments this time of year uh, so that's that, that would be my number one recommendation but even you know if you're out there nine ten o'clock I mean the sun's pretty intense already by that sure. time you know wear that sunscreen I mean it is I can't tell you how many older anglers I know who yeah. are going to the dermatologist to get things cut off all yeah. the time right so wear that sunscreen you know the the clothing that's available now is so great you can wear long sleeve the hooded stuff you've got the buffs you can really get yourself covered and people have looked at me in the past like what are you doing wearing a long sleeves up Hey, it's cool. I mean, it yeah. is cooling technology. So there's great uh, apparel out there to help you beat the heat now. And of course, stay hydrated. I mean, carry lots of water, maybe three or four times as much as you think sure. you need uh, and pound that water. Sure. Uh, just be safe out there. Watch for signs of, you know, heat exhaustion and, you know, worse than that, heat stroke. But uh, hey, we all want to go fishing. Just be careful while you do it. You know, you, you brought up my soapbox. Did you know we see more heat related deaths than any other weather phenomena in the United States. More than hurricanes, more than tornadoes, it's always heat. Yeah. People don't expect it. I know, I have seen some friends get in, get in trouble, you know, doing physical activity sure. in the heat, even at night this yeah. time of year, you know, because of our intense humidity and uh, yeah, so watch out for it. Watch out indeed. Hey, we wanna hear from you, Trey and I are entertaining your questions, whether it's fishing related, hunting related, regulation, anything that Game & Fish can answer, He's going to be answering your questions every week here on the Outdoor Report. All you got to do to get them to us is text the number on your screen. That's 501-376-1111. Trey, as always, this is fun. We'll see you back in the garden next week for another edition of the Outdoor Report.